Earlier in this part of your servo training, you saw that a coil of wire conducting a current will exhibit the same properties as those produced by a permanent magnet. The energized coil of wire will actually produce a north pole and south pole of magnetic flux energy. Now suppose we place two of these coils in series and pass a current through both of them. When we do, both coils will produce a north and south pole condition. Since the coils are not close enough together, there will be no magnetic coupling existing between the coils. Basically, we have the same thing as two magnets with their opposite poles facing one another. Here we have added a rotor coil and brushes. Notice that the wire connections for the series coils are labeled F1 and F2. These are considered the field windings. Also notice that the rotor winding has been labeled A1 and A2. The rotor winding is generally referred to as the armature winding. When we place a constant potential on the field windings, each coil will produce its own magnetic field. As you saw a moment ago, the fields will be such that the opposite poles will be facing one another. Notice, however, that the rotor is not turning. The reason for this is simple. The armature winding is not creating a magnetic field of its own. Therefore, there is no repulsion or attraction taking place between the armature winding and the field windings. Now notice that when the armature voltage is applied, the operation of the brush DC motor is very similar to the permanent magnet brush DC motor you just examined. One major difference, of course, would be that the magnets in the stator have been replaced with field windings. Another difference you will see later in your servo training is that the brush DC motor can be controlled by varying either the field voltage or the armature voltage. The torque provided by the brush DC motor can be adjusted by controlling the constant voltage being supplied to the fixed potential windings. If this fixed voltage is increased, the maximum torque will increase. In the same respect, if the fixed voltage is decreased, the maximum torque will drop.